Yo, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I've got, how do I put this? A very, very important video. Don't care. I don't, I don't know why I haven't said it like it's so important to be honest, I just don't. But anyway, I've got a very important video today guys. Was Forza Horizon 3 better, yes better, than Forza Horizon 4? It's what we all want to know. It's what I want to know. Now what do I think? I'm going to say it right at the beginning of the video. Forza Horizon 3 was better than Forza Horizon 4. Have I just started like the biggest beef with all the racing game people in the world now? Before any Forza Horizon 4 fanboys start absolutely having a meltdown and spamming their keyboards until it nearly breaks by commenting something in the comment section, then please let, let, let me just say this. Like, this video won't be too long. I'm just going to give some reasons why I think Forza Horizon 3, for me personally, was better than Forza Horizon 4. Here we have a few reasons why Forza Horizon 4 isn't as good as Forza Horizon 3, demonstrated on this whiteboard. Okay, so the biggest point I'm going to put out there is online. For me, Forza Horizon Online is a very important aspect of the game. It's where on Horizon 3 I spent a lot of time. Even on the back end of Horizon 2, I started to spend a lot of time online on that game. It was just easy to do, wasn't it, in Horizon 2, Horizon 3? It's easy to go online, have some fun racing, have some fun online games, online games in Horizon 3. I used to be pretty good at them, not gonna lie, you know. I, I used to, the reason I was good is because I sweat them out every night for hours, Forza Horizon 3 online games, and they just spawns of all the flags in Flag Rush. Going off topic a bit here, but anyway, let's get back on topic. I think Forza Horizon 3 online was just the best. It was simple to get online. All the areas to play online games was fun. It was a lot more enjoyable. Now on Forza Horizon 4, I just find it all very, very confusing. I'm not a particularly big fan of the areas we have for online games. The quarry is okay, but stuff like the Gordon area, nah, it, I don't really like it, you know. Forza Horizon 4 has been a game I struggle to get into, but there's just something about this game which makes me get bored very, very quickly. I briefly spoke about it on Twitter. I tweeted out something the other day, a screenshot on screen right now, like... I fail to watch like racing game YouTubers that do like live commentaries on the game. I just I just can't watch them. I used to be able to watch them in Forza Horizon 3, but Horizon 4, just something in this game that makes me get very bored. I just don't know what it is as well, but going back to the online, Forza Horizon 4 online, how it's mainly trying to always be an online game pretty much by being in the lobby with 72 other people, but the other people are ghosted. It's but then, if you're in Horizon Solo, right, they will always try to, for me anyway, always try to, tries to seem to want me to go online. Like, every time I load in, it's like, oh, we found a free roam lobby or whatever it's called. Like, too many messages just pop up at the top or it won't work. And it says, uh, press menu button for diagnostics or whatever. Like, no, I, I don't want to do that. Let me just have my offline time. And then if I want to go online, make it a bit more simple, like, to get online, it just feels like ages, especially to get into racing lobbies, playground games, that sort of stuff. Playground games are so boring nowadays. You've also got, what's that thing? Free Roam Rush. That just breaks up the online games and the online racing, which makes you lose the momentum you've got. You think, oh, I've just done a race, time for another race. No, you've got this Free Roam Rush to do, which is so boring, like... It's another reason why I don't play online, just scrap free roam rush, it's so annoying, like, I preferred it in Forza Horizon 4, nope, in Forza Horizon 3, I mean, where, say if you're playing online games, you have the four online games, two, two online games, the first two were at one location, and then after the second online game, you drove to the other location for the last two events at that location, that was so much more simple, the games just used to flow nicely, now it's just a drag with this free roam rush, like, why is this free roam rush in there? It was fun at first, but now it's just so boring. The map as well is something that I struggle to to really get into. A Forza Horizon 3 map, like, I've never been to Australia, so I didn't really know what it's like. And you know, Forza Horizon 3 in Australia, I thought it was a very good map. I knew it like the back of my hand, like, spawn me anywhere in that map and tell me to get to, like, Byron Bay or something. I'd know how to get there. It's crazy how you learn the map, but in Forza Horizon 4, 
I live in the UK, right? But to me, it's nothing like the UK. Like, they tried to make it well with the countryside, but it, it's just not how it feels. Like, the seasons, yeah, they're good and that, but they get a bit boring in the end. It'd be good if we could choose what season we wanted. I think that would be much better answer to the question. Is there even a question? But yeah, let's choose our own season. I'd be so much more better. But I think the whole online needs a total revamp. Like, they've tried doing that before. It's just dead. They've tried putting too much into this game, I think. And it's just not worked. Forza Horizon 2, Horizon 3, they were basic online. Well, they weren't basic. They were cleverly done, I think. And as well with the Forza font. I, I never do Forza fonts rarely in this game now, Forza Horizon 4. But in Forza Horizon 3, I would always make sure I'd do those Forza fonts, like three or four challenges to do. I used to enjoy them Forza fonts lasting from Friday till Monday, I think it was. And I used to do them every weekend. I just used to be so excited about getting that new car, but like that excitement's gone for me in Forza Horizon 4. Like, it's never really been there. It's just they've changed the Forza font too much. Like I didn't like it in Forza Motorsport 7. It, I don't know if it was because it was the first time it was added in Forza Horizon 3 where like it was easy to get used to, but it was so much more simple. It just, it, Forza Horizon 3 days were the best. But I think they're really going to struggle to top that. For me, Forza Horizon 3 was just an insane game. But it's weird, you don't realise it until it's passed really, do you? Like, when I was actually there playing Forza Horizon 3 where it's an active game, I knew it was a good game. I knew I loved the game, but you'd think with Forza Horizon 4 being set in the UK, I'm going to e enjoy it even more than Horizon 3, but sadly I don't. But I will be going back to Forza Horizon 3 very shortly, to be honest to play them online games because I'm more excited to go back and play them online games than I am Forza Horizon 4 online games. Like, Forza Horizon 3 came out three years ago this year and to me, it's just an insane game. Probably one of my best games ever. Like I've said at some point in this video, I do think with Forza Horizon 4, I tried adding way too much in the game and to me, it's just a very complicated game. The way you navigate through menus or navigate stuff like Forza Fun or the way it's set out, it's just very complicated to me i don't know if it's just me but i'm not the brightest spark but it just is complicated forza horizon 3 was so much more simple and easy to navigate your way through it was just so enjoyable that game as well just it's it's not got a scratch on forza horizon 4 honestly it just hasn't horizon 3 absolute incredible game forza horizon 4 right it's been out about five months when forza horizon 3 was at this stage when that had been out for five months I wouldn't be able to go a day without playing it, honestly. I'd struggle to go a few hours without playing it, to be honest. I was so obsessed with that game because I enjoyed it so much. But Forza Horizon 4, I can easily go a week without going on it. I usually just go on it for a video, you know, get some background gameplay, call a skit or something like that, take a few Forza photography posts. That's what I like about uh, Forza Horizon 4, actually. They've changed some stuff with the camera on there, so it, Forza photography is a bit better. But yeah, it's the only reason I go on it. I can easy go like a week, 10 days without playing Forza Horizon 4, but on Horizon 3 I couldn't. I just enjoyed the game too much, which is something that I just don't on Forza Horizon 4. It's a shame, really. It really is. Like, you think a game releasing in 2018, it would be an insane game, but like, the, the leaders of the racing game community, aren't they? Forza, Turn 10, Playground Game, whatever you want to call them, they just were. But sadly, I'm not the only one that feels like this. I know I'm not. I've read like comments before or to my tweets or something like that but yeah it is a real shame i think the car list also put me off the game a bit i didn't really see too many cars i was like too many new cars i was bothered about driving like now we're we're in what's this like the fourth horizon game we've had about seven motorsport games a lot of the cars are very repetitive because they are such big car lists so they, they can't add too much new stuff can they like we'll have all the cars in the world soon I think for the game to change my mind, it would have to be a total revamp online. New playground games entirely, like just new playground games. I never liked those team like King or Infected either. Like, they were alright first, but just the old style stuff, like, it works so well. Like, if it's not broken, just please don't fix it. What's the point? Um, but yeah, like I said, for it to change my mind, I'd think they'd have to add car packs to the game somehow but not too expensive but they'd have to be like dealership car packs so like a Peugeot car pack, a Vauxhall car pack, a Toyota car pack 
you know, stuff like that where it'd be like about seven cars from a manufacturer. That would be quite fun and just new stuff online, total new stuff online, new areas to do online games and stuff because at the moment I'm not really enjoying them. But I just can't get over, like, I can't express it. I just don't know how to about how much more I enjoyed Forza Horizon 3. I honestly made so many good memories on there from the online games, which like two years ago now it was just an incredible place to be in an incredible incredible game to play at the time which unfortunately Falls Rise and Falls hasn't really carried on that legacy has it so I can't really see too much changing maybe expansion 2 will be you know totally out of the park something we've never seen before but maybe that'll change my mind but I'm, I'm not banking on it to be honest I'm seeing the Falls and Rise and 4 expansion 2 not being as good as expansion 1 expansion 1 was all right you know it was quite good some new stuff in there but wasn't particularly wowing, if you get what I mean, so I'm not liking the way Forza Horizon 4 is going, but at the same time, they've released the Mitsubishi DLC a few weeks ago, that was a good move, and maybe we're going to see some cool cars coming in the next few months, so tell me what you guys think down below in the comments, surely you think Forza Horizon 3 was better than Forza Horizon 4, there's a few people out there that do, that watch my videos, so yeah, if you're there, comment below. Thank you very much for watching guys, leave a like if you did enjoy, subscribe if you're new around here, but until next time guys, bye bye.